This video shows how I filled out the application for net metering 2.0 increase to capacity, so a modification to an existing net metering contract that I have already had on the roof. And I did this myself, um, this particular original. Uh, system I did myself and like you perhaps I am using more electricity now and net metering 2.0 is going to go away and the last day to submit the plans is April 14th however I've been told that you probably need to turn your application in much much earlier like like the day that uh, I'm recording this video I've done a few other videos mainly focused at people who don't have solar and that are going to add a NEM 2.0 system uh, from scratch and this system is going to or this video is going to focus on adding modifying an existing uh, contract and what you have to do on the net metering application to be able to achieve that um, so just I'm also going to say that I am not an expert on this. I'm a do-it-yourself person. And I think that it may be that some of you have not done it yourself the first time. and But you do need to submit the application and perhaps that you um, won't do it yourself. Uh, you, perhaps you'll sort of change your mind. And I would like you to read the comments and like this video if you can um, but if you read the comments because likely there are people that are going to be posting on to this and tell you what their experiences are and perhaps I have not done filled things out right the possibility of me screwing this up is fairly high but we'll get started now on this and I'll show you what I'm going to do so what I'm going to do is uh, going to add a panel here to an existing array and I'm going to add some panels over here and so the original system is this so this is the plot plan of what I'm going to be working on so what we do is we say that there's a modification to existing contract and we want to say um, I think it would be a good idea to say that you have an electric vehicle that you're going to be charging it, particularly if you don't have a re history of um, you know having excess uh, electricity a need for uh, this extra capacity that you're going to add now my impression is that you get uh, about three years to actually implement your plan so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to list what we're going to add to the system so I'm going to add one um, micro inverter and I'm going to and here's the panel that I'm going to add and then the, this is the compass course heading of the roof and the proximate tilt. And then I'm going to add six more panels, um, as I showed you. And, and then that's what we're doing with the, um, the, the, uh, the, the new stuff. And this is what the form looks like. Um, and now they're going to they're going to ask me about um, a, a generator, the existing um, uh, plan that I told them I had. So we're going to go over here and click on existing generating. Now, I think you may have to 
look this up on your original online application that you filled out, but and many of you won't uh, had, had somebody else do it. So I think you're going to need to look at your reporting and figure out what you have. But anyway, this is what I have. And um, I, I have a load side connection. Now let's take a look at the last part of the document. Again, I'll, I have other um, videos on filling out this form, but I'm just doing it specific, specifically for this. So um, I'm, let's take a look at the line diagram I have for this. And I'm creating a reference here in sections 1A and 1B. And this is a uh, branch circuit 1 and this is branch circuit 2. So in this case I'm creating a brand new branch circuit 2 with new 6 PV um, panels and I'm going to add one panel to this branch circuit and it's a two it's a 150 amp service with a 200 amp bus bar and I'm going to be using a 30 amp back feed breaker located at the bottom of the panel I've got an existing uh, shutoff and I have an existing IQ combiner. I think it's best to for the do-it-yourselfer guys to use a N-phase microinverter systems and these systems are ungrounded uh, they don't they only have two wires that connect to them so here is where I'm, I'm identifying what the wire size is for each branch, the number of connectors uh, that I'm using for each branch, and then what type of ground I am running through the conduit. And the conduit is a three-quarter metal conduit with this THWN-2 wire. Um, there is some uh, wires that sound similar to that, and they're also acceptable in my uh, my experience. What you know, the, my experience with everything. So that is basically the minimum that you're gonna have to do to submit your application. And please make comments if you find out as you find out different things because we're going to be in the same boat here and please point out if you think that I am not perceiving things correctly uh, good luck on your project and I'll be hoping to hear from you in the comments as you learn more and I will make sure I change the description and please remember to like this video thank you